what happens is, is we always want to go into our mind and create power. So we get angry, we rear back, and we throw, and we have no control over what our hands are doing. Because they're just flinging out there and hoping to hit something. And if they hit, they can hit hard, but you have no control over it. But I want you to understand is hitting is being like a, a good massage therapist or, or chiropractor, right? Those guys can grab you and know where every joint is and every bone and they can set it because they have such a good feeling of the body. When you hit somebody, there should be a sensitivity in your hands. You don't worry about what you're throwing. You have to have enough faith that your body will throw the mechanic correctly and you can't worry about that. All you worry about is after you make contact, you have to feel how deep you're throwing it with your hands. So, if I wanted to, I have choice, I could just hit light, just touch skin. If I wanted to go deeper, I could go deeper. I go deeper than that if I wanted to. I'm not gonna, but you know, you learn to feel where your hands are going. When your hands go in, you have to understand, you hit a point, you'll hit a solid spot, right? And when you hit that solid spot, you have to feel the energy wants to travel around the solid spot. So you hit resistance, and then it continues around the resistance, and that's how you keep hitting the body deeper inside. So solidness and it changes. It's a little bit of that. But you can't do that if you're not sensitive with your hands. If you're just chucking, like you're hitting and bouncing off effectively because you don't have that sensitivity in your hands to pick the depth and how hard you want to hit. If you unconsciously hit something with no mind behind it, then you're not picking the depth you like. So let's say I just want to hit them a little bit. Watch. Hear the sound on this, right? I didn't hit him, I didn't hit him hard, but it's heavy and it transfers into the body. Because I only picked a point, but I was conscious of it. If I wanted to go deeper, I could go deeper because I picked that point. When you get sensitive with your hands, you can kind of pick how deep you want to hit with it. Now, it'll vary depending on the person. Some people are very flexible and they'll move. Some people are very solid and you'll bounce. And that's okay, but you still pick the depth you want to send it. The other reason why this is important is when people start either sparring quickly or doing self-defense quickly, there's a lot of injuries. Because what happens is, is he punches at me, I panic and I just try and throw power and I have no control over what my hand's doing. And then I clip him in the nose, I hit him in the teeth, and it happens all the time. When you do this, you have to be like a serial killer almost. You have to be calm and conscious and feel where your hands are doing even at speed. If I want to hit him, and I want to pick the depth, like, I'm not worried about how much power I'm hitting him with so much. It's, I'm trying to feel the depth that I want to hit. I know this is a, it's a tough concept. It, you know, I'm gonna hear a lot of crap about this. I can see it already. But when you learn things like this, or like this in martial arts, they're wrong. And the reason they're wrong is because you're robotically doing them. You're doing it and then hitting, but you're not feeling what they're doing or why they're doing it. When you hit somebody and you want to make a twist, it's got to get past that point of tension and then it twists into the body. I want to go into that point and then up. But if I just do this, like you don't feel where it's going in the body. You're not displacing anything. You're not moving anything around. So when you're doing this, you have to be very sensitive with your hands all the time to feel how deep you want to go, how hard you want to hit. And start simple. Just touch people, right? And pick how deep you want to go. Go to spots that are not damaging and just pick how deep you want to hit. If you do that a lot, you can go a little deeper after time, a little deeper, and you go back and forth. Don't just let them, you know, if he hits me, right? right? You have to go back and forth. You can't, it's not one guy pummeling the other guy. Both guys should get this, right? Because you learn too. And also, when you get hit, you feel the depth, and you learn to feel what you're doing to them. You have to be conscious with your hands. I'm telling you, it's where most injuries happen. It's where most people actually, and it hurts your power too. Because when you're so focused on your body and you're flinging, you're not focused on deep to throwing that punch to them. And you're not focused on what it feels like when you do it. So do yourself a favor. Just try and slow down and feel the power at the end of the strike. Right? People want to throw power at the beginning of the strike out of panic. And they have, they've already launched it. They can't pull it back. You've lost the missile. There's, it ain't coming back. As opposed to throwing it 
and then pulling the trigger when it's really close. That way, you have some control over it, and you have depth on it, and you know what you're doing. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. Feel free to share. It helps the channel grow.